Oh wow, the thrill of winning! I know you have more tricks up your sleeves. Share with me, please. Tricks? I don't have tricks. All I have is math. <sighs> Quit stalling, start sharing. What other math do you have? The rhyming has begun. We're gonna have some fun with game theory. Game theory? You mean using math to strategize and win? Exactly! Trust me. Everyone has probably played scissors, paper, stone at some point in time. We often use it to decide who goes first in a game or to eliminate people from a game. The rules are simple. Scissors cuts paper, paper wraps stone, and stone crushes scissors. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Each strategy has as much of a chance to win as the other. No one choice is stronger or better. Yes! The only way to have an upper hand is if you could read your opponent's mind or if you had a little map. If everyone played picking their strategies randomly, then no strategy is superior. But people don't play like this. Experts have found out that people do have a strategy when they play, whether subconsciously or otherwise. If you know their strategy, it's almost like reading their minds. So, are you ready for the strategy? Tip number one. People who win tend to stick to the same strategy. Tip number two. People who lose tend to change their strategy. It makes sense, really. If you win, it's worked for you before. So why not stick with the winning strategy? And if you lose, Clearly, the strategy doesn't work, so why not change it? But what do you change to? Let's say you put out scissors and got defeated by a stone. You know he's probably going to stick to stone since he won, so you go with paper. Or if you put out paper and got defeated by scissors, he'll probably stick with scissors, so you should change to stone. Now, do you see the third tip coming? Ah! Tip 3. If you lose, change to the next strategy. This means if you play scissors, then play paper. If you play paper, then play stone. And if you play stone, then play scissors. No. Tip 4. If you win, play what the loser just played. So if you played stone and won, your opponent will be expecting you to go with stone. So change to what he played instead, which is scissors. They expect you to stay with stone, so they'll be playing paper to defeat your stone. And you will win again! Scissors, paper, stone! What happens if it's a draw? Well, we move on to tip 5. Choose your strategy randomly and try again. How is this math? Well, it's all part of game theory, the map of making decisions and strategies. I think I'm going to try it out. Can I challenge you to a game of scissors, paper, stone? Scissors, paper, stone. 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 Yeah! I won! Wow! Okay, ready? Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Yeah! Paper, stone. Yeah! Scissors, paper, stone. 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 Yeah! Yeah! Nice and roll! Scissors, paper, stone. Yeah! Yeah! I won again! Enjoyed this episode of Make It Count? Keep hanging with us. We have more ways to show you how math can make your everyday better. 